Hey car fans, welcome back to Garage Time. I'm out here early this week in the garage on a weeknight and I'm restoring a part here for my 356. This is the backing plate and it's got a crack in it. This is really thin sheet metal. So I'm gonna show you how to TIG weld a, a crack in really thin sheet metal on a part that's like 50 years old and no longer available. Garage time. I've already gone ahead and stripped this down to bare metal. I dipped it in my electrolysis bath for several hours and also hit it with the wire brush on my angle grinder. It got it pretty shiny. Let me show you the crack. Here's the four holes where it attaches to the spindle. And then right along this curve here, the crack begins right where my fingernail is and then it extends all the way over to here. So that's probably almost two inches of crack length. So we're gonna have to fix that. It's also pretty damaged. It's got some, some major uh, tacoing down on this side. This is all crushed in. A lot of dent repair to do as well. But like I said, this part is no longer available. And if you can buy a good used one, they're well over 200 bucks. They didn't make this uh, disc brake system on the 356 for very long. It was only 64, 65. I wanna fix this one with my TIG welder. I'm gonna start on that crack, see how we do. Okay, this part is, is thin, it's really thin. It only measures about 25, yep, um, 32 thousandths of an inch. So this is really thin, gonna have to be really careful and that's why I like the TIG welder for this. Just a lot of control to uh, tackle this crack. Started with a small little tack right there, right where it's at the corner. I'm hoping as I weld that this is gonna close up, this crack right here, that crack's gonna close up a little bit. But for now, I'm just gonna continue along this ridge. Just for reference, this is 30 thousandths wire. So you can get an idea of the width of the bead there. The width of the bead is probably maybe two or three thicknesses of the wire. It's a really tiny bead. And then on the back side, you can see that it's, it's fully penetrated through. Now it's time to do the more difficult part, which is this wider portion of the crack. It's already starting to close up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go about an eighth of an inch where it's fitting well, and then I'll have to hammer it some. Got to sharpen the tungsten again. So a little bit of contamination in this metal. Probably because it's 50 years old. It's actually 56 years old. Okay, really sharp. This is a small little custom dolly here. I've had this a long time. Okay, those are fitting a little bit better now, so let's weld across.
But I also found a small crack right here just starting to develop, so I'm gonna weld over that too. I like to hammer on the welds to stretch out the areas that were shrunk due to heat damage. And this is cold forging the weld area, relieving some of that stress due to the high temperature and hopefully prevent this from cracking again in the future. This hammer is almost like a peening hammer. This disc is for tungsten only. This disc will grind the weld down. I'm pretty happy with that finish. I did use a small uh, carbide burr on the inside radius. It's ready to be prepped for paint. The last thing to do here is clearly fix all this uh, damage just due to misuse. You know, the car was probably set down without the tire on it, without any of the, the correct jacking supports underneath it and crushed this down. This metal is so thin, you can pretty much straighten it by hand. This is not the first time I've welded on this car. I've done so much repair to the bottom and the front nose and the doors to this car, it's unreal. Okay, the restoration of this part is now complete. The next step will be to paint it. I'll use an epoxy primer and top coated with a two-part uh, semi-gloss black. That will maintain or restore the original finish of this part. And this should last another 50 years, provided that the car is maintained. If the wheels are balanced and the brake rotors are cut true, there shouldn't be any vibration on this part and it should not crack again. Fingers crossed. If you wanna see more work done on my 356, click this video right here. If you wanna see more work on welding, I've done a ton of welding with the TIG welder, click this link right here. Take care, thanks for watching.